So we changed locations. We're in a different field. It's just a small field here. The road's right there. And then we have a big field over here that's just long and thin. Uh, we weren't really finding anything and the guys cut through the trees and one went around, but I got a decent signal here of 51 and it looks to be a nickel. I don't, I'm hoping it's silver, but what are the chances, you know, for my lot? Oh, what is that? 1940, wait a minute, is that a war nickel? I can't remember war nickel years, but, oh, that looks silver. Huh. I'm not sure if I got a war nickel on. It's in great shape. Look at the detail on that thing. It looked like it was dropped just as soon as he got it. Pretty happy with that if that is a war nickel. I'll let you know. I can't remember, but I think it was 42 or 44 to 45 maybe. I don't know. Look at the detail on that thing. Good. Nice. All right. We'll keep going. So Matt here has found something unique. He found the bottom piece in one hole, and then he found the top half just now about 20 feet apart, maybe 25 feet apart. He's going bang, bang. Look at that. That's so cool. I think, I don't know if he's missing the midsection or if that's... I think that's how it goes. It's about the same size. Yeah. I think you're right. Looks about right. Yeah, not right down. Bang, bang. That's sweet. Awesome. The other guys are way out there. I don't know how they're doing, but we just changed fields. And I'll keep going. So, slow start to the new field, but uh, this was about six inches deep. Maybe a purse handle or maybe uh, some sort of hair tie clip or something, but it's old and it's fancy and I like it. So we'll keep going. What you get here? Almost oh. looks like a quality might look like, kind of looks like a finger ring. No idea. It's very smooth, whatever it is. Usually if you can't see the seam. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I reject. <laughs> So big copper is having a copper kind of day here. It's third copper. Oh boy, that's a big one. Oh wow, that thing's that thing's big like. Uh, KG three. Is that that's not a copper, is it? Well, it might be a coin. I don't know. Here, clean that up a little bit. Well, it's hold. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's just been stamped, I think. I mean, I might be wrong. Looks like a hole, but. Oh, yeah, certainly... it looks like two kind of run right there, one right. Oh. I don't know. What... Maybe that's not. It is. Oh, oh it might be a clock part. Oh, uh... it's a clock part. Oh, buzzing god. Yep. Buzzing god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clock part. Like pocket watch. That's bizarre. It looks like a coin. It looks uh, like a reed on the edge. Wouldn't, who wouldn't think this was a coin? Look at the, look at the reed. It looks like a reed. Oh my so god. Strange. I didn't clean it off. I, I thought for sure it was. Oh. It sounded good. You made me walk all this way. My stuff is way down there. Oh well. Oh, still man. fun, isn't it? I'm sorry. It's alright. No bazinga. I'll get over to, to Matt. Thinks he found a French something. Uh, Stan, is it silver? I don't know yet. They got water from the spray. It's a double finger copper. That is silver. It's gotta be. That thin? Never seen copper that thin. Well, we're gonna find out. Rub it. I don't care. I think it's a copper anyway. 
Too detailed and too thin, don't you? Just, I think that is silver. It didn't wear down because you lost the finish. Yeah, look at the edge right my finger. Uh, oh, that's weird. Does it say? Paint? I've seen What's green. I've seen them look green before, though. There's a castle and the things are crown rather on that side. I've seen uh, silver gold before, old silver that had. Like oh yeah, there's the crown. Nick found a uh, little one once, and I was like, oh, it's a little copper, you know. And he cleaned it up. And it was silver. Hmm. No idea what this Come is. On. French. Sue something. No, no, but that is paper thin. It is. It's thin like a. But it's got detail still. Yes. It's thin like a silver. Nice. So. Makes up for your bazinga. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nothing too exciting, just a uh, second ox knob of the day. Running up great. These little things are always fun to find. See if I can clean out some of the dirt. There we go. Second ox, second ox knob. We're pretty much winding down. We're all exhausted. We've been up and going since about 6.30 and it's uh, 1.15. So we're, we're just ready to wind down and be done. So we'll see what else we get on the walk back to the truck. Well, the dais is cleaning up today between Matt and Craig. Braided hair. Braided hair? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is. I, think it, I don't think it is. I think it's mm -hmm. this way. I think date traded it my pinky. Mm -hmm. It's a matron. Oh, yeah, I see an 8 on there. 26. 18, 26. Oh, just a blob that made it look like that. That's awesome. Heck yeah. See the day? Yeah, very cool. Nice. Nice. Like the old big cup. Good job. I got a good banging signal down there that I'm going to go dig. So if you'll all excuse me. So I was going to dig my signal a second ago, but then I was rudely interrupted by Matt and his matron, Copper. So let's see if I can find it again real quick and do a live dig. There it is. 81. I know you can't hear. Let's see if I can take off my headphones. Oh, that sounds so good. Got four inches. We'll see if it's actually that deep. Another awkward live dig. I've been kind of unsuccessful with these today, minus the ox, uh, the ox knob. But we'll see. Hopefully, I can get lucky one time for you guys today. Alright, let's see if I can flop this bad boy over. <sighs> Alright, be something good. Be something good for daddy. Lead. Why do I bother? Just a huge chunk of lead. I'm ready to call it a day. Huh. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll start a little roundup here. Uh, two guys did very well using the same machine, and John and I not so much. John and his Knox got the little suspender clip, fancy, but I'll beat the hell. And we believe this is a KG3. Not bad, not bad. And we'll move on to me. I lost one of my ox knobs, but I dug two of those things, possibly off a little. Purse, maybe handle something, couple buttons, flat buttons, full shanks. Silver. Got my little silver 1943 war nickel. Not bad, I'll take it. And then my find of the day, this massive tombag bell. I think is awesome. I love that thing. I see a seven. And we'll move over here to Craig. 
So we're not really sure what this is. Might be gilted, some sort of pocket watch cover, maybe. There's a, a zincan. Another zincan, we're guessing, maybe old. Little drawer pull. Musket ball. Flat button. Oh, yeah. And two, two matrons. Not bad. And then the highlight, I think, of the day is the mass militia button. Beauty. And then we'll go here to. That's some sort map. of cap. Cap to something. Not sure what. A little debuckle ish. Do we know what that is? No. No. Okay. No. Toe tap. Central. Still filled with dirt. Big copper. Maybe a token. Matron. Not sure what that is. Maybe a ring. And then the end of the day find here. Some French lovely coin. French sou. I could hear it when it. Uh, you can almost see a date right there. That's can't a one quite, and a seven. Can't quite make it out, but it's going to be interesting to see what that is. Very thin. Might be silver, might not be. We're not sure, but it was a good day had by all. It was fun. So until you see us again, hopefully we find some more good stuff for you. Until next time. It has to be that thin. Yeah, didn't have a little back then.